tau overflows other levels of samadhi love is the fertilized soil for trust to blossom to its full fruition and trust gives wings to love to soar in infinite sky together love and trust take one beyond time and space where bliss halos you and your innerness expands and becomes one with the existence and existence becomes your innerness know this as nirvikalp samadhi dwelling in this state is enlightenment ramkrishna told vivekananda if you remain day and night in that state the work of the divine mother will not be accomplished therefore you won't be able to induce this state again when your work is finished it will come back again nirvikalp samadhi only consciousness remains nirvikalp samadhi is the higher state of awareness where ego and sanskar have been dissolved and only consciousness remains indeed you are ever expanding consciousness nirvikalp samadhi is the second state of samadhi a meditative state of total absorption and bliss samadhi is the eighth and the final stage in the path of patanjali's yoga direct translation vary and interpretations range from bliss to liberation and even enlightenment nirvikalp can be translated from sanskrit as not wavering highlighting the fact that the stage of samadhi which comes from the two words sam and dhi is sustained and steady sam means equanimous and dhi means meditative state the state of nirvikalp samadhi can only be attained by developed beings who have progressed through previous stages as dharana the focus attention and dhyan the effortless meditation spiritual masters may be able to remain in that state for hours or days and staying in nirvikalp samadhi for 20, 18 to 21 days enables higher state of samadhi in which consciousness permanently leaves the physical body someone mentioned you explained exactly what has happened in our live meditation session yesterday this expanding so wide then the space the expansion the vastness flowing into and even the growing back even the growing back from being a flower to the seed being the flower inside the seed everything is there ever in all this the realization of there is nothing to do and nowhere to go nothing to seek anymore already is there and has arrived something from the session today at first i became that big that i noticed that there is so much space inside so much space and i thought at some time buddha must have felt this way then i saw someone sitting in a lotus posture apparently transparent and felt so identified with it and then a giant drop almost waterfall like fell on to him through him from above it splashed a bit while landing on the ground i don't know if you saw it i winced it came so surprising such is the experience of nirvikalp samadhi to experience this one must be deserving and be the confluence of love and trust and be the confluence of love and trust for grace to happen patanjali says material world 
has become like a shadow from which you are completely free. In Nirvikalp Samadhi, there is no mind as you know it. There is only expansion, infinite peace and bliss. Here nature's dance stops, the knower, the known become one. Here energy is supremely divine, all pervading, all amorous ecstasy. You become the object of enjoyment, the no enjoyer and the enjoyment itself. All dualities vanish. Now the heart is fully awake. In Nirvikalp Samadhi, the first thing you feel is that your heart is larger than the universe itself. The universe appears to be a tiny dot inside your vast expanded heart. Here there is infinite bliss and infinite awareness. You not only feel bliss, instead you actually has become the embodiment of bliss. This has been the state of the one who has experienced this state even being thousands of miles away. Only love and trust bridges time and space. This, this Samadhi is similar to Divine Consciousness as explained by Shankar's tradition. A state of deep love for the world and everything in it, recognizing the fact that divinity is all around surrounding us. It is entering a celestial realm. You experience Ritambara Pragya, the consciousness, where your thoughts spontaneously manifest into reality. A thought comes in and instantaneously it manifests into reality. Whatsoever you think a thought comes, it happens. The past and the future are blended into eternal presence. Everything is now, everything is here. Time and space has been transcended. The exalted bliss state may last for a few hours or a few days. Initially, there is no wish to return from this state and it is said, if one stays at this level for 21 days, there is every possibility that soul will leave the body forever. However, through continued practice, you are able to come back from the Nirvikalp Samadhi and immediately function normally in the world. This is what, when Vivekananda experienced Nirvikalp Samadhi and he wanted this state to be induced again and again, Ramakrishna told, until your work is over, you will not be ex able to experience this again. Both Savikalp and Nirvikalp Samadhis are considered temporary states in that you can only, you can fully experience them by withdrawing yourself from the normal life. Even the great enlightened yogis close their eyes to meditate. However, the yogi's normal life is not as most people experience it. A yogi is living a fully living a life fully supported by unbounded field of infinite possibilities unbounded state of infinite possibilities imagine the whole of the imagine the whole of manifested creation is touching the front of your body and the unmanifest Pure awareness is touching you from the back. You lean forward and you are in the localized world, but not local is fully there. Supporting your every breath, 
this is the way it is said that you are living 200 percent the third stage is dharma medha some mega samadhi a higher level of samadhi is dharma mega or the cloud of virtues dharma means virtue and mega means clouds patanjali says this level arises when you have lost even the desire to know god or to be enlightened this samadhi cannot be gained by efforts it reveals itself when all efforts are dissolved it is a divine gift beyond notions of absolute and relative <clears throat> when even the temptations of the yogic power cause no distraction to you it is said pure knowledge showers on you like the cloud of virtues that is why this state is known as dharma megha samadhi bringing liberation and bliss of the divine this is jivan mukt or liberation while existing in the physical body the afflictions of all karmas have been removed you are not bound by karmas anymore yogi becomes ever free and shines in life or her own glory it is said in this state the yogi sees without seeing tastes without tasting hears without hearing smells without smelling touches without touching or his skin his or her mere intention can work miracles the yogi simply wills and everything comes into being then comes sahaj samadhi raman maharishi has talked about sahaj samadhi sahaj means spontaneous this samadhi could be could probably be placed between nirvikal and dharma megha samadhis it is where the inner silence is manifested along with normal daily activity you are involved in your daily activities but there is inner silence peace and harmony this it is being able to maintain the experience of nirvikalp samadhi all the time here you radiate divine illumination the divine is perfectly manifested through you every moment of life you are filled with divine grace it can perhaps be likened to unity consciousness what shankar calls it unity consciousness you are one with the existence raman maharishi lived in that state with samadhi as your goal you should be regular with your spiritual practices enjoy the blessings that each day each moment of your life and each act brings on to you and know that everything will be revealed at the right moment there is no rush for anything to happen when the existence wills it will happen to you that will happen to you when it is bound to happen enough for now